Hello friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I wanted to give you a mid-year review on what I'm thinking of the Sassafras Science Adventures. This is something that I picked up for our first grade year and I did a flip through and a review on it before we ever began it, but I just wanted to let you know what we're thinking of it and if I would do anything different. So if you are interested in this video, be sure and stick around. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am a homeschool mom to a first grader and we love all things books and homeschool and just and sharing our adventure with you. We hope that something that we share will be helpful to your homeschool. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Now let's get started. When I purchased the Sassafras Science Adventure set, I bought the Read Aloud book, which is a chapter book, and it's broken down by different chapters, aka your lessons. And so there's 16 chapters, and I'll just give you a quick little show of this. I do have a flip through of this so that you can see the whole thing, but this is the chapter book, and I will go ahead and put the flip through right up here in case you want to see the complete detailed section of everything. But this is the chapter book here, and it's volume one. This is broke out by two semesters, so generally you would do two volumes in one semester. Then I purchased the Sassafras Guide to Zoology, and this is your teacher's manual. And then this was an extra, and it is the Sciadat Logbook. So when I originally purchased this, I went ahead and grabbed all three because I had not used this before, really had not seen much on this before. And so I was like, well, let's purchase these and then I'll know what I would want to do for the next semester. For starters, I do want to say we very much enjoy this read aloud. It's really, really fun. So with the chapter book, let me show you something here. Each chapter is broken into two different sections. So we see we have look, a lion, and then quite a few pages back, we have chasing cheetahs. How we generally do this is we read that one section of the chapter on one day and then the next section a different day. You could definitely read the whole chapter in one sitting, but for us, we just enjoy splitting that up a little bit. And the teacher's manual, breaks this down for you too. So let me show you that also. And the teacher's manual is really great. So again, go back, look at that flip through because I show you everything and how it breaks down with the supplies and different things. It's really, really set up beautifully for the homeschooler. So right here you can see day one and day two. There's two options here and of course as many options as any family would want to make. But this is generally how we follow it but we kind of add a third day. So we will do day one and day two of reading, and then usually we'll do day three and kind of do some of the experiments and things like that. Now there are other weeks where we do kind of a four day, there's other weeks where we do everything in a two day, but the teacher's manual is very nice. It tells you everything that you need right at the beginning. So we've really enjoyed this. We've had a lot of fun. Every time you read your chapter, you follow the instructions in the teacher's manual, and then you enter some things in your SIDAT logbook. This is where I probably would not purchase this book again at this age. Let me also clarify that. I think this would be a little bit better for a student that either one really likes to write a lot or is an older student that is expected to write more and things like that. This is all also super duper easy that you could make your own. Let me zoom in a little bit for you here. So you read the section and then here's the log book. And so you just talk about like where your location's at, then a little bit of information about the actual area that you're gonna be with. Then you have this map over here on this other side where you kind of like color in the areas of where the grasslands would be around, the continents that it's found on. And then this page over here is your animal record sheet. So again, this, you could just Google map this, you could look at it. Um, and as you can see, I would have her write the 
animal name, the classification, and their food type. And then I would write the location found and we would talk about the information learned. All of this information can be found in the teacher's manual. And I would definitely purchase the teacher's manual again because I think it's very, very helpful. But in all honesty, you can open this up and you can have a nice little science animal lesson just by reading this. So you do not need anything else besides this if you wanted to do sassafras science. You could pull just so much information from here. But I do like actually getting into what they expected from the curriculum. And here we show where we would read the living spine, the optional resources, any library books. And then here's where we're getting the information where we fill out the SIDA information. So here you could see you could easily make all of this your own. You could make your own little journal or you could just cover this information depending on your age. You come down here to the animal record sheet and here you have your animal name, classification, the food, the location found, and the information. And so right here it kind of bullets out like the main information that we read about in here. So there all this information was covered in the chapter book but it's also broken down right here so that you can kind of hit the hot topics of the lion then there are some vocabulary words here that we've we really haven't done a whole lot. I think, again, if she was a little bit older, we would kind of like use this section a little bit more. And then we have the scientific demonstrations, which we have very much enjoyed. So this is where I would definitely want it for the scientific de demonstrations and then just the extra projects that we could do. Then we have either some copy work which we have not been doing copy work because we have other copy works. We have other handwriting curriculums. So if I didn't have those other ones or I needed more, this would be great. But once she's older, again, for first grade, it's just not something I need a whole lot yet. But I do plan on getting the teacher's manual again. And this is something I would like to incorporate. But again, for first grade, I just haven't been using it. This I think I will pass on. Um, I think I'm might would be interested in picking this up if we were much older or once she needs a lot of handwriting practice. Again, I foresee that I would have different curriculums that this would meet. And so we didn't even use this page here. We don't ever use this section either. And so I feel like a lot of it is kind of wasted and this is easily covered without needing this sheet. So, um, now, if you don't want to have to make anything, and this is something you're very interested in, and I apologize, my little uh, vacuum just took off, so you might hear that in the background, but uh, hopefully it won't be too loud. One, one of the things that you make throughout this time that you keep up with all the animals, and this is a little animal sheet that is included in the back of the teacher's manual. So back here you have all these animal pictures, and so what I did is I pulled this out made a copy and then she cuts that out and we tape it to either carnivore, omnivore, or herbivores. And so we have enjoyed this aspect of it, but again, that's all in this section here. But I really think all of this would just be really nice to cover, but not necessarily need the logbook for. And so as you can see, she writes and then I write. And so it's just really, I'm writing everything she's telling me. So, so I feel I could just kind of skip this section of having to write down and then just ask her to bullet me these things. Like what is the information that was most important that we talked about? I can go back here to my teacher's manual and I can pull up those sections and we can talk about if she missed any of them, we can be like giraffes can canter and gallop on their two toed hoofed feet. So we could cover all of these things without the additional purchase of this. But I'm glad that I did go ahead and get it because I would never have known, did I wanna do this? Did I not wanna do this? And now that we've done it, we know exactly you know what we like out of it and what we don't. And so even as she gets older, 
and here we did color a little bit and so it just goes it follows through all the animals there but a little bit as she gets older it could be that we're wanting to write a little bit more but I she's very artsy craftsy so I almost could see her just wanting to make her own log book because you could have all of these pages here to add to it so there's all of these grasslands adventures and things like that there's pictures to go with all of the environments and then the life cycle so everything that I think you could really need is in the teacher's book and so it would just be really easy to open this up use these two so when I get volume two I will get the reader of course and I will get the teacher's manual. I will pass on the logbook for this next round, and I don't know that I'll ever get it again, because again, like I said, I think if we get to the point where we want to make our own logbook, that she will want to create her own logbook versus this. Another thing that we did do, which was pretty fun for her, is when we were looking at the encyclopedias, she would actually get a little camera out and take a picture of the images in the encyclopedia. And that was kind of like her own little log book that she was putting in the camera. And she really enjoyed doing that a lot. But I wanted to share with you what we were thinking about it after having done it for quite some time. I do plan on purchasing volume two because she does enjoy it. And I really enjoy the little activities that we get to do. We've done some really fun little art and craft ones. We've made butter. There was cookie recipes. There was just a lot of really fun stuff. We put an egg and vinegar. That was amazing. She had the best time with that. Um, but yeah, it's just really fun. If you love to read aloud, if you love this sort of type of curriculum where you're reading your curriculum, this is just a super, super fun science curriculum. I think it's great. I will be doing it again, and um, I hope that this was helpful to somebody. So again, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!